ball for Tarek Skubal today is going to be about his fastball command. He's going to have to keep that ball out of the middle of the plate. That fastball gets up to 97, 98 miles per hour. Maybe that's their approach today. They're going to look for that ball up. Got him looking. Well, Slater didn't like the call, but it's a very effective pitch at the bottom of the strike zone. Flores waiting the 2-2, swinging the line drive up the middle softly. McKinstry will fill it to the left of second, flip it over to Torkelson at first. Did he go? He sure did, and he knew it. A couple of strikeouts in the inning for Tarek Skubal. He gets rid of the Giants in order. Here comes Detroit. And Ross Striplin, let's take a look at the numbers. He's been great since coming off the IL, more typical to his career. 14 games this season, nine starts. I went three with a 5-9-2. I think it's a little inflated. 51, two-thirds, 58 hits. On the ground, McKinstry to second. VR playing out there today. He throws out Zach McKinstry. Now here is Riley Green, one of the Tigers' very best prospects. With some fastballs. Down the left field line. Fair and into the corner on his way to second. Riley Green has his 11th double of the year. Right on cue, talking with Riley Green, talking about the posing pitchers. He just crowded him with fastball, so he's pushing that ball out over the plate. But he's done a better job of doing just what he just did here. They're very excited about this next hitter, Spencer Torkelson. The 2 1. Swing line drive up the middle, base hit. Green's being waved around third. Up with the ball, Matos. Throw to the play. Not in time. Up the line. Throw to second. Not in time. Torkelson with a single. Tigers take a 1 0 lead. Four seed fastball. Understanding the pitches that he can handle. That pitch is right over the middle of the play. Look at Torkelson read the throw here. Riley Green's picking him up, putting him down, but Torkelson reads the high throw from the center fielder, and he gets himself in the scoring position. Here is strike three called right on the inside two down on the ground first pitch swinging to J.D. Davis Sandy Abanez is out number three Tigers get a run only the one will go to the second now Miguel Cabrera stands in 40 year old right handed hitter definitely headed to the Hall of Fame the one one ground ball softly up the middle and in a perfect spot into center field. Schmidt, the shortstop, came over. So did VR, the second baseman. Miguel threaded the needle beautifully for a leadoff single. Swinging the magic wand. You know, you got to hit it where they ain't. Gosh, when you consider how great Doval has been this year, that's quite an accomplishment. Slater backpedaling, out number one. Badu on the ground to short. Schmidt bobbles, and he'll get the out at second. Good thing it's Miguel Cabrera. Here's Rogers, a ninth place hitter. Badu runs, Bailey's throw, tag, he is safe. Giants, I'm sure, are taking a look just to see. Call on the field is overturned, the runner's out. San Francisco will retain their challenge. Nobody on here in the third. The pitch, swing and a ground ball. Diving stop by Ibanez on a ground ball in the hole at second base. He tumbles to the ground, and while he's rolling around, he throws to first to get Lamont Jr. What a play. Isn't that his bread and butter? He can go to his left at second as good as anybody. He smothers those balls over there. We call that the four hole in between first and second. Rogers jammed and out of the reach of a leaping David Villar and into center field. Many, not a lot of swing and misses. Andy mentioned line drive, base it into center field off the batter green. Rogers around second. He'll put on the brakes. Like the aggressiveness, he'll actually draw the throw to Villar. Dives back in head first. Good swing for Green. Two two strike hits for Riley today. For Riley Green with this consistent approach against the change of less that ball trap. You see it running away from. Look how the head stays down and he stays through that baseball. Gary Carpenter, who struck out looking his first time, off, but has been so good since coming off the IL and especially in his last nine games. Ground ball through the hole on the right side. Rogers will get the wave home. The throw from Conforto is cut off, and it's an RBI single for Kerry Carpenter to make a 2 0 Detroit. With Lamont May Jr. holding on, Riley Green at first base, it opens up that hole for the left handed hitter, Kerry Carpenter. He gets enough of this ball where he hits it in the right field and drives in another big run. And that one is hit to left. Slater dives, and he makes a catch. What a play by Austin Slater. Full extension, needed every inch. Perfect read on the blooper from Ibanez, and completely robs this RBI two-out swing. It will be J.D. Davis and Patrick Bailey. That's three pitches, and down goes Flores. Second, the 0-2 is swinging to miss. Whoa, he's dealing now. How about that combination? Fastball, slider, changeup away. J.D. Davis had no chance. Seventh strikeout for Scooble. To left center field. Green chasing, and he's got it. Tarek Scooble continues to bully San Francisco. So at this point, you have to stay back. If the, if the fastball beats you a little bit, it's okay. You can still get a base hit. 0-2 is swinging a miss, and he just stayed with the changeup. Yeah. Carved up the kill, Badu. 
when you're behind against the Tigers in the late innings, it's not easy. 2-2. Two -two. Strike three swinging. VR strikes out for the second straight time. Two down. That's the eighth strikeout for Scoobal. Yes, sir. Tarek scoobal has been a bad, bad man on a Monday afternoon in Detroit. Nine strikeouts. Here's a swing and a fly ball right field pretty deep. Going back on the ball is Conforto. He will leap and he makes the catch. He took away a home run from Zach McKinstry. Two down. What a play. Michael Conforto. Not sure how many home run robberies he's had in his career, but that was one. He went up over the top of the wall and took one back. They've dreamed of these moments here. Cued to the right side. They're going to have to hurry and they won't get him. Green will keep on running. Good base running by Riley Green. Tigers have him at the corner. Carpenter taking his time before he digs in. Base hit to right field. Green will score. Torkelson goes corner to corner. The line keeps moving thanks to Kerry Carpenter. 3 0 Detroit. Knuckle curve recognizes it. Stand back on that backside. Wilmer's 0 for 2. He's been the hot hitter on the road trip. 12 hits, four home runs, four doubles on the trip. High in the air. Deep left field, and there it goes. Adios, Pelota. And now the Giants are on the board. Wilmer Flores, that was one of those soaring, majestic blasts, aesthetically pleasing. His 13th of the year to tie for the club lead in home runs. Punch to right field. Carpenter on the run. Leans. And what a grab! What a job by Kerry Carpenter. And Schmidt says, I can't buy a hit. Carp gets a great jump, but he had a little more. He got extra speed, and he just reaches out and makes an incredible grab here. For a second there, I didn't think he was going to get to that baseball. It makes an incredible play. Found that extra gear, didn't he? He did. Right, Walker takes over on the mound for the Giants. 3 1 Tigers. Zach Short bats for the first time today. Launches one left field and deep. That ball is gone. Two run bomb on the first pitch he sees on a Monday afternoon. The Giants are down to their final strike once again. Book it for the first time ever. The Tigers sweep the Giants, and it's the Tigers' second sweep of the year. They swept the Mets earlier this season. They sweep the Giants with a rain delay makeup here today.